In this video, I will explain the import and export functions in Promovera P6. To export a program, the purpose for that is you want to have a backup for the program so or extract a certain information so you can use them in different format. For example, you want to export some information about earned value, cost, and dates to work with them in Excel so you can export the schedule into excel you can also have a backup in a promovera format which is xer format to export the schedule go to file export and you have here all options you can export it as xer file which this file can be opened by promovera only and you have to select the versions so i have here the latest version which I have right now, it's 20.12. So I can always export at the highest version which I have available installed on my desktop or anything below. So for example, if you are working with Promovera 8 right now at your desktop, you will find that you can only export the file up to version 8. You cannot export up to 8.1 or 15.1 so you can always export up to the version you have installed on your desktop i am trying to export the schedule right now which is the schedule update we did right now and it has a baseline assigned so note that if you export the xer file you do not export the assigned baselines as well you only export the file you are working on which is the schedule update 15th of august 2021 click next you wanna export the whole project with everything. So this is probably what you want to do all the time. Then click next, next. And here you want to specify the location. Let's have it on the desktop. And I will call it schedule update 15th of August. save and finish so if you go to desktop you will find the same file i just exported and if you have promovera installed on your desktop you will find the p6 icon and right click properties you will find that this is an xer file to be open with promovera p6 professional let's remove the assignment of the baseline so from projects Click OK, then maintain baseline, click on the baseline, then restore. I had to deassign the baseline first before I restore it. Click OK. You can also have the option to export two projects at one time in one file. And when you import them back to Promovera, you will also see the same two files. So you can select both and right click open you can see here there is a comma to separate the files so here i had two projects this is a project id with a comma and brackets the description of the first project comma description of the second project okay click file export you can also do the export and you will have two projects in one file. You can also have more than one, of course, more than two, five or ten. Okay. You can also, so let's open one project here. You can also export to Excel. XML is Promovera as well and also Microsoft project if you are using it. Maybe the most two options you will frequently use is the xcr file in case of backup or working with a team or the excel sheet spreadsheet xl sx so you can use the data to maybe do some formatting and do some formulas work with the data manage them and do your reporting so click next and you can do any of that so we have the activities we have the activities relationship and expenses, resources, resource assignments. When you select for activities and click next, you mark the export 
as well click next then you it will ask you to show a template so you click modify and it, this is a template you can use it all over again so which columns you want to see and do you have any filter for these activities do you have any sort sorting by start sorting by wbs so whatever you want to try to work here before and filter sorting you can apply it here so you can have the excel sheet with the information you want so you can have duration so everything related to activities then click ok so maybe i will present only this information so you click ok click next and choose the location this is excel data click ok next finish you go back to the desktop you open the file so this is how you know this is an excel sheet from promovera this is very important actually if you have a look here so the first column is actually the promovera code so promovera recognizes the activity name as task underscore name same for activity status for example so you see the column inside promovera as activity status but promovera recognizes it in a code it's called the status underscore code and this is the start date so this is how you know it is generated by promovera so this is a code by promovera and this is a column title you are familiar with we'll keep that and we'll come back to that later you can also export excel and choose activity relationships and in this case you will see different template so you want to see available predecessor and successor so the list is different from what you choose in case you decided to export by activity this is duration so everything is actually related to the relationship fluid multiple fluid path so this is related to activity you can also filter and sort you can go back to previous if you want you can also do the assignments export the assignments you have here the resource type so anything will be beneficial to resources dates also for activities and you export them as well you can also choose more than once so maybe you want to activities activities relationships and resources assignments click next and here you have the list of activities here subject area is activities you want to go also to active relationships because you you selected that before and you have also to maybe do your template here with filter with sorting then you go to resources assignments and do the same as well after you finish click next and we can rename it as schedule 15th of august activities relationships and resources okay you go to the same file again and you will have here here it's task for activities so the the call it task and you have here all the information task resource it's short for resource so here all resources assignments which i i choose so i have the steel rebar material assigned i have also the carpenter and the steel fixers assigned in our project task bread like for predecessor but it, it means actually all information or relationships information so it will give you the lag predecessor the resource assigned because i choose to you can also before you export you can choose if you want to select that or not successor activity predecessor activity so here it's all the relationships and this is the promovera code so you have to keep it in an excel so you have the option also to import information from excel to promovera and to do that you have to make sure also that the column you are trying to import matches the id here so for example i want to go to task for example i want to change this date into excel 
you can change that but if you want to make it a start date before you import to promovera you have to keep the same row here the same code so promovera can recognize that this is the actual start date okay and so here for example this is a duration here seven days for compaction i will make it 10 days as well and if you make any changes here it will be number here if you can see there is a green dot here so it means it's thickest which promovera wants but how can you match the 10 days here to be exactly like that so promovera can recognize it because it's like a number right now because you changed the format by typing 10 so you can click on 10 and go to data text to columns delimited click next check comma check other and type this symbol into your keyboard like for text click on that read consecutive de um, delimiters at one test qualifier this so the second one click next i want to change it to text click finish so now it is text so let's if you double click on that you also change the format so it's five you can also do something here so this is like a shortcut so the the only difference here is you want a text format so you want all numerical values in text format so promovera can recognize it so you can also have another option you can before the number you can click this symbol from your keyboard then click enter so it becomes text but sometimes you are working with large amount of data you cannot just go by one by one to do the text option or maybe add add this symbol you cannot do that so you have to use maybe highlight all column or highlight certain activities then go to data text to column and follow the process so let's import all this information back into promovera so let's say i do i will not only import all of them i will import only activities so feel free to delete that and the relationship i do not want them as well so only activities i'm going to import and i did want to change here for compaction i made it 10 days instead of seven there you will always find one tab here it's called user data keep it as it is do not change anything it has something to do with the format how you want to present the date a currency so just to keep this is the overall formatting on how to get it into promovera click close save and i want to import so you can import the promovera file the one you we, you just exported it's going to be the same file so it's like a backup or a file you can use later on the same concept in word file you can always save your word file autocad as well you can export it save the autocad file so you can use it later on in our case we will import spreadsheet so click next which file you want to import so i will choose this one click next and now promovera detected that they have the code here so when you selected this file so promovera did a check for the first row yeah it matches my code so now it, it detected that it is called the task for activities it has the columns related to activities so now they know it is related to activities and if you select that you will see that it is used by another user this user actually is promovera it's running that check it has opened the file and it's checking it right now so it becomes read only because someone else is using it right now click activities you want to update existing project yes the same project i have right now the one i am opening right now the one with 15th of august click next then finish so now you will see the compaction is 10 days instead of seven days if you go to import and choose excel let's say that we did not remove in our file here let's say that we did not remove resources and relationships so if you did not remove them when you import you will find that this tab 
is activated because it will recognize that there is one sheet for relationships and the one for resource assignments as well but we only we deleted these two and we kept only activities so you can select that so this is for the export and import functions in Promovera P6. In the next lecture, we will talk about how to rename activity IDs at bulk.